Hey everyone, so today's video is actually going to be a tutorial on this look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I just filmed it, so, um, yeah, at the end I forgot to film, um, showing my dog. I told you guys that, so I keep, like, stuttering. I entered a clip after I filmed the tutorial. Um, he wasn't like he was when he was, like, laying. He was, like, laying on his side, so, like, I flipped him over and he decided to stay, so he was being good. So yeah, I have to go. My friend is actually coming. It is summer. If you guys are on summer break, comment below um, on some videos you guys would like to see from me um, because I'm definitely going to be filming a lot more. I have a ton of pre-filmed videos, including this one, which I'm not going to upload tonight. Well, I might. I don't know. Um, a ton of my flip. I filmed some of my flip that I didn't have to edit, um, so that's why... I I haven't uploaded them yet. I only film on my MacBook on um, iMovie because it's easy to upload and edit on iMovie. It's not easy to upload. So I have to figure out that. Uh, I don't know how to upload videos from iMovie on YouTube. So my sister has to teach me that because she's uploaded videos on YouTube from iMovie from editing. Because I take like the sections that I don't want and I cut them out. Like I delete them. So I have like different sections of the video. So I have to somehow get all of those highlighted because it highlights only a section and then it cuts it off. Like Yeah, it is a great day outside. All week it's supposed to be in the 90s. Um, we're under a heat advisory. It's going to be so hot. And we have the worst cicada. Like, oh my gosh, it is so gross. I read about them because they were so gross. Like they were flying in like, ugh, it was so gross. So I read about them online to see if like they, in case like they bit or something. So, um, and... They infest um, a certain city in the certain states that they do, like, actually infest. And they're there for four to six weeks. So these things are going to be around my house from four to six weeks. I'm not going to be able to do that. Yeah, I hope they die soon because they've been here for, like, two weeks. And I'm, like, just waiting for those six weeks to be up. They said there's, like, an infestation in a certain city. So, um, multiple cities at a time. But, like... My certain city and probably other cities are having it right now too. So, yeah, gross. I hope you guys enjoy, enjoy the tutorial. And I will talk to you later. Um, any summer videos you would like to see, comment below. I'm going to do some nail polish videos. My sister probably will. I'm not sure. I might. And a ton of makeup tutorials, summer outfits, stuff like that. And, yeah, I will talk to you later. Bye. All right, let's get started. We're going to start out with the NYX eyeshadow base. And this is in skin tone. And this is what it looks like. You can use MAC Paint or Lee Paint Pot. You can use any base that you have. Um, I just chose a skin tone base since this um, eye look. I don't really have a pink base. And this eye look is really pink as you guys can see. So yeah. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my ring finger. About that much. And I'm just going to spread this all over my eye. And, um, now that we have that done, that was just this one. You can find that at Ulta or any, um, place by you that sells NYX, um, cosmetics. A lot of people, I live in the States, so some people might not know, um, what icing is. It's a store by Claire's. We're going to use this palette today. It doesn't say what palette it is. I don't think you can find this anymore, but there's a lot of different pink shadows you can find from MAC, you can find it from Urban Decay, any drugstore really, um, carries any kind of pink color. So first I'm going to take a skin tone pinky salmon kind of color right there. And I'm going to take a flat shader brush. This is just the flat shader brush that I'm using. This is the Bare Essentials Contour Shadow. You can use any brush that you have. And I just took that much. And I'm just going to pack it on. I hope you guys can see. And if you're wondering why I'm looking up, I'm looking in a mirror. So I'm just going to pat this because this has a lot of fallout. Be sure if you are um, applying a shadow that has a lot of fallout, you want to make sure you pat, not swipe. You can swipe, but keep pressing it. Like, don't pick it up and keep swiping because it will have fallout underneath. And since I already did my face makeup, I don't want um, fallout and to have to redo my face makeup. 
So it just looks like that. It's just kind of a base for our pink shadows that we're going to be applying. Next, I'm going to take any other flat shader brush that's not as dense that can just like apply really lightly. And I don't know who this is by. It either rubbed off the name or I just bought this no name, whatever. So that's what that looks like, just really thin. And I'm going to take that color right underneath that, right there. It's like, um, I don't really know how to describe it. It's like a mauvey pink. Alright guys, so malfunction. I just totally closed my palette. And I don't know, oh, that would be why. On the bottom, there's like, um, face powders and like a cream foundation. I just watched that. And blushes, if you guys can see that. And I just closed it really hard and it ac accidentally slammed. Like I closed this really hard because it was open. It slid open. And a ton of a dark pink blush went all over my bed, all over the computer. The computer's fine. I wiped it all off. But all over the place. And it was on me. Ugh. Okay, so sorry if the lighting just kind of changed. Yeah, anyways, I'm taking that, like a dark mauvey pink. I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush like that and apply that to the outer corners just because we want to deepen it a little. Take a little bit more if you need to and kind of swipe it into your crease just a little. Now I'm going to take any crease brush that you own. It doesn't have to be, okay, these colors don't have to be the ones that I'm using. The base that I use, it doesn't have to be that. It doesn't have to be the eyeliners, the blushes, the mascaras, the eyelash curler. It doesn't have to be anything that I use. Just use what you have. So I'm just going to take my Sonia Kashuk one, just because I have it. It's like the round top one. And I'm going to take a dark pink that's in here. It's this color right here. You can just take any kind of darker brown, but it's kind of like a hint of pink kind of like, I don't know how to describe this color. And I'm just going to take that and place it into my crease. And again, I'm just applying this in the crease. Now I'm going to take just to kind of blend the products in there. I'm going to take that salmon color right there and that same crease color and I'm going to kind of mix them a little bit. And I'm going to take that, it should look like that or any color that you guys used. The lighter outer corner color and the crease color mixed. I just place that on the outer V and blend it with the crease. Like that. So your look should look like that. That's what that one looks like. And now I'm going to take any blending brush. I'm just using the Eco Tools one and blend blend up. And now I again have a no name brush, but um any kind of not as dense again gold brush and I'm gonna take this the first color that we use the light salmon and place that on the inner corner and then I'm gonna take that same color on the same brush but kind of focus it on the end of the brush and apply that as our brow bone highlight so that's what the look should look like so far this is the eye that we're doing this is the finished eye so now I'm going to take an Urban Decay brush that came with a palette of mine, and it's kind of like a, a rounded, really pointy, almost looks like a smudger brush, and I'm going to take this, the set, the outer corner color that we used, and take that on the edge of our brush like that, and I'm just going to be applying that on the inner corner on the lower lash line, like so. Like that, I really hope you guys can see these colors, like honestly, because this is such a pretty look, and I just wish you could see it. Now I'm going to take that color right next to it. It's like a purpley color, almost kind of pink, and I'm going to take that on that same brush and apply that on the outer part of our lower lash line. I hope I said it with the same brush, and kind of blend those two together. So that's what the finished eye shadows look like. 
Now we're going to move on to mascara and eyeliner. Now I'm going to take my In Color Fabu Liner Liquid Eyeliner. You can use any liquid liner that you have that you use for your upper lash line. And this one is in black. And I'm going to take that and apply that on the upper lash line just like I did on this eye. So I set on the outer corners and work my way. And then I'm just going to take that same eyeliner that we're using and carry that into the inner corner and also take it down a little bit on that waterline. So now that we're done with that um, felt tip liner, I'm just going to take a waterproof black to put on our lash. Oh my god. You guys, my dog looks so cute. I'll show you him in a second. But I'm just going to take a waterproof black liner and put on my waterline. And pushing just a little. Or you can just do it like this. Where you just take your pinky, which is really weak. So that liner's done. Crap, my dog just got up. Now I'm going to take my e.l.f. Um, eyelash curler. And I'm just going to curl my lashes. I'm going to cut this out because I know a lot of people are grossed out with um, eyelash curlers. So I'm just going to do it myself. So just take any eyelash curler and curl your lashes. And after you've curled your lashes, I'm going to take, um, you can take any volumizing mascara or any lengthening if you have really short lashes. And just take a mascara that's really going to separate your lashes. So I'm taking the Falsies Volume Express Mascara in Black Drama. And this is just in Black Drama. And I'm just going to take that and apply that to my lashes. Like so. Actually, I'm going to do it like this. Now we're just going to take it and put it on our lower lashes. If you want to, you don't have to do this step. Now the next step would probably be to do your um, eyebrows, but I don't do my eyebrows. I kind of just take my fingers and go through them to make sure that they're not completely like spread out and just sprawled all over the place. So yeah. Um, I already did my blush and highlight and bronzer. I just contoured with my Physicians Formula Healthy Wear Bronzer in light. Um, I know I mentioned that sometimes I wear this as a blush because it's so light, but I decided that I wasn't going to go too heavy with the bronzer today. Sorry, that's my phone. Um, so I just decided to take a lighter bronzer um, to do contouring. Sometimes I do that. And then um, for highlighter, I use my highlighter I use every day. This is the Flaunt Beauty Not So Nude Highlighting Powder. And that's what that looks like. So I just took that and put that all over kind of my cheeks. And then for blush, I use, I just scared my dog. I use the CoverGirl Rose Silk Blush. This is kind of a darker coral. It kind of reminds me of Bella Bamba by Benefit. So if you want to try that out, um, go check this out if you don't want to spend as much money. So that's what that looks like. Um, now onto lips. You can take any lip color that you have. I'm just going to take a shimmery baby pink gloss. This is from Forever 21 actually. And it's in the color light pink. And I'm just going to apply this to my lips. You can take any pink color. This one's actually kind of sheer. So, um any kind of sheer or pink um, color. So that's the look. I hope you guys were able to see um, this look. I'll kind of close my eyes to show you. Um, as you guys can see, my lashes are super long and I don't have that many. So this volumizing mascara makes them look extremely long and just amazing. I love this mascara. Um, and yeah, they make your lashes look super good. So that is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am sorry I keep filming on my MacBook. I do have pre-filmed videos on my flip, but it's easier to edit when I film on my MacBook for iMovie. So yeah, I am glad I was able to make this tutorial. I really like it. It's really natural. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye. I told you guys I was going to show you my dog, but I completely forgot and I ended it. I'm sorry. But, um, I just filmed this tutorial. Um, but yeah, here he is. He's not doing what he was doing earlier, but... Hello. He's very shy sometimes. And he was, like, sprawled out like that. Like, asleep. 
and it was so cute, and now he's going to stay that way for me because he's a good boy. Yeah, that's my dog. Bye, guys.